This is the Winger Evo Grip S557 Swiss Army pocket knife. Now this pocket knife has uh, several tools on it. It's got a locking main blade. Locks with a depressing lock here on the side instead of a liner lock. Uh, instead of a small blade, it has a nail file here. And you've got your adjustable pliers and wire strippers. They can adjust out. You've got a spring here that's different than what the Victoria Knox uh, Swiss Army knives use. For that, you're going to have an inline Phillips head screwdriver. And you're also going to have this handy little wrench. I say handy. That was the intent of this wrench was to be handy, but I'll get back to that a little more in a minute. Um, not quite as useful as I'd originally hoped. After that, you've got some serrated scissors. You may be able to see on there. Yeah, there's very slight serrations, very small serrations. Same uh, same spring winger uses on the on the pliers, and then last you have your bottle opener and your can opener. This can opener has a pretty decently sharp blade edge on it. And then on the bottom, you've got a corkscrew, and then an awl. And they do their toothpick and tweezers a little differently than Victoria Knox. They're actually along the inside of the scales here. Now, I originally got this knife because I've been using a Super Tinker, which I love. This is a knife that I carry around just about every day. Slightly longer. And the Evo Grip S557, obviously um, not nearly as wide. Um, I toyed with the idea of getting a deluxe tinker because I wanted to have the uh, the pliers, but I decided to go ahead and get this one, which is probably one of the closest knives to the deluxe tinker, uh, and it has all the same tools except it's got this nail file instead of a small blade, and then it has this other row of tools here, which is the inline screwdriver and the wrench. The closest knife I actually own to that is going to be the Cyberlite 34. Um, a slightly wider and heavier knife. Uh, this bit driver here makes it heavier, but other than that, it's got all the same tools. Um, it's got two blades instead of the nail file, um, but all the same tools in each, each row, except that the bit driver goes the whole length instead of having this wrench here. But Unfortunately, I'm not a winger convert. As much as I like the idea behind this knife, the size, uh, the molding of the grip, one of the problems I have with it is that a lot of these holes, or the, uh, the thumb holes, aren't real well thought out. Uh, this thing came to me extremely stiff as it was, but getting this uh, rinse to pull out for the longest time was nearly impossible. And if I don't have my fingernails uh, grown out just a little bit, I can almost never get these scissors out. Um, your finger will tend to hit on the back of this wrench here. And it's hard just to get down in there. I actually have to push against the scissors and then use the force of pushing against them to pull up. So I wasn't real thrilled with that. Um, I realized a lot of that stuff can be worked out with oil and, uh, and just usage over time. But it was not... As, uh, as easy going out of the box as my Victoria Knox models were. Um, same way with the inline screwdriver, although that wasn't as bad. I can live with that. The um, rent, or I'm sorry, the pliers, I thought would be a lot handier than uh, they ended up being. I find that a lot of times they end up slipping open, and then when I go um, to put them back, they obviously won't go back in, so I've got to remember to open them back up, close the tool all the way, put it in, they also don't feel uh, nearly as sturdy as the ones uh, in the Victoria Knox. Um, I just like the feel of these a lot better. 
the two here side by side. Bit different shape here. This one's got a lot more room in between the actual uh, teeth themselves. See, this one's a lot closer in between. Um, but this one also tends not to pop open as far when you're using it. This one, it'll yeah pop open and then it gets stuck. And it's just a pain. But the big letdown on this was some of the design behind this part. I like having a screwdriver in the middle. I've always liked that on an inline screwdriver. But unfortunately, having this wrench in the middle really limits its usage. Because when you are holding a nut, generally that nut is going to be going down against something. Now, when it's against something, that means your knife is going to need to get flush with it. So unless the nut is right on the edge of whatever you're trying to screw down, um, you're not going to have a real good way to get any kind of uh, any kind of grip on that nut. Uh, I've had them strip out a few times. It would be a lot better if they could have figured out a way to get this wrench along one of the um, outside uh, blade areas instead of right there in the middle. It just really limits its usability. So, all in all, I like the knife. It's a cool little knife, but I find that I don't carry it nearly as much as what I carry this slightly more bulky Cyberlite tool. And um, once I do eventually pick up a deluxe tinker, I'll probably end up that carrying, carrying that more than either of them. So, and that is the Winger Evo Grip S557. If you're like me and this is your first Winger, just some stuff to be aware of. If you're more familiar with their designs already, then hey, I say go for it. Still like the design, so I'm giving it a four out of five stars on there. The build quality is excellent, and um, all in all. Still a good knife for the money.